A legal victory for a former Atlanta fire chief fired for writing a book about his Christian beliefs. He will receive $1.2 million in a settlement. Kelvin Cochran alleged that his firing occurred when he shared his book, which condemned sex outside of marriage and homosexual acts. Correspondent Jason Calvi joins us. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Lauren. Former Fire Chief Kelvin Cochran says he was living a lifelong dream, a dream he says the city of Atlanta snuffed out. But after filing a lawsuit and testifying it right here on Capitol Hill, now he can close this chapter. My faith does not teach me to discriminate against anyone. Calvin Cochran is no longer fighting fires, but he's finally quenched the national firestorm that once engulfed him. In 2013, Cochran wrote, Who Told You That You Were Naked? He shared his book with some of his Christian firefighters, including assistant chiefs. It says sex is only for married couples and includes a list of what he calls unclean acts, homosexuality, bestiality, and all other forms of sexual perversion. He told us in 2016 he was in hot water for sharing that traditional belief about marriage. That is probably the most consistent, universally held human principle uh, of the existence of humankind. And for me to be fired because I said that in a book written on my own time is just unthinkable. But the city said they fired him for breaking their ethics code and taking outside work by publishing his book without clearing it first. Atlanta mayor at the time, Kasim Reed, said the material in Chief Cochran's book is inconsistent with the administration's work to make Atlanta a more welcoming city for all of her citizens. But a city investigation found Cochran never discriminated against anyone. They themselves, who have interacted with me personally, can say from their own testimony that Chief Cochran has created an atmosphere where everybody looks forward to coming to work every day and he deliberately did things to eliminate any barriers that created an atmosphere where no one was able to give their very best. The city council voted 11 to 3 this week to approve the settlement. Christian law firm Alliance Defending Freedom represents Cochran. They say they hope this settlement will be a deterrent to any government that would trample upon constitutionally protected freedoms. Lauren. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi, great report. Thank you.